don't act like you don't want to hear what I got to say. Welcome to Reviews with Whitney D. I'm Whitney D, your host. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, you guys. So D.L. Hughley on May 20th had the lovely uh, Erica of Mary Mary on his show. And they were just talking about, um, I guess, spirituality, if you will. And so I'm going to give my review and my intake on it, but we're going to watch it together and we're going to review it together, okay? Let's do it. I respect Christians' humanity. Mm -hmm. I just wish they respect, respect other people's humanity. I, Some I think of, they, a lot of us do, uh, but, but unfortunately, because I'm not, I don't Christian the way evangelicals Christian. I'm not that kind of Christian. What kind of Christian are you? I love people. I have grace for people. I think we should help the the less fortunate. I think we should take care that's of our old people. Me. I think we should help kids and home. I mean, I just think. How's that, that different than me? Um, I I said yes to Jesus. Right. That's it. Well, that, well, and that's well, the difference. Well, because the thing is, you can have, and I always tell people this, people think, oh, if you get with Jesus, everything is fine. There are people who don't love Jesus, and they help the community, and they have good marriages and all that kind of kind, stuff. This is, whether people like this or not, the most kind, learned, erudite people I've ever met didn't believe in Jesus. And they did it for whatever. They didn't have a, a motive in, in, in mind, like I'm going somewhere else. If you want to talk about people who know religion, oftentimes they have no stake in it. The most knowledgeable, mm -hmm. but the, I'm not talking about everybody, but the, mo the most interesting conversations I've ever had with people were people who weren't necessarily, uh, they didn't believe in Jesus. But if you want to talk to a Christian about another, I'll tell, oh, you're the Jesus said it, I believe it, that's it. But but there is no. But there, there are many scriptures that that debate that. There's sure. many scriptures that tell us to give an account for our faith. Sure. So sure. you're supposed to be responsible right. with your faith. You're supposed to get in the book and find out what it says, not just what your church does, because different religions right. have different things. Baptist, Pentecostal, Catholicism, so many different religions. Right. Uh, if you believe in Jesus, you should find out what he did, and right. if you right. follow his life, um, he dealt with a lot of things. He was fully divine, but fully human. Twelve disciples, one of which betrayed him. And you know, several of which you know were not on I bet, the up I bet and that dude who betrayed him went, later went on to be a police officer. I bet that was. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to get yeah, in the book. Right. I want you to <laughs> read the book. No, no, that's what just look at the Bible as a book. Read it. Sure. Read it. Just get into the book and and, and get your eyes off of people. That's right. why I always tell people if the distraction so now I got to read the Game of Thrones and the Bible. Yeah. Jesus. You don't have to read the Game of Thrones. I pick the Bible. <laughs> but that's a good more, idea. That's great advice because I think a lot of the, the situations that happen is because people we, don't have a personal relationship yeah, and you're basing don't. it on going into a and building. People and, and social media. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you get your own relationship. Yeah. yeah, but but every here's the thing about. Whenever I hear somebody say, God, put this on my heart, or God, to, it's always what they want God to have told them. Not always. No, well, e even ev everything I hear is what I want to have heard, whether I like it or not. It is what I'm telling myself somebody else said. There's no phys is there a physical dude that comes down and pops on your screen or are they, they no, no that's burning? not I don't but that, but you know here's it, what I believe I believe okay. you know how I'm sorry I'm I'm I'm, I'm a chronic cutter off her right. because I come from a big well, you're family a beautiful black woman so, so I'm used oh, to oh, <laughs> there you go Madonna you where are, are you when I need she, you she's, she's, she's cutting me off right now <laughs> somewhere okay so. That was the deal, Hughley Show, I, again, with um, Erica from Mary Mary. And here's my take on it. I am a proud woman of God. I'm a proud Christian, although I do not display it 100%. Now, if you're on my Facebook page, you might see and hear it quite often. But here's the thing. I am always human first, meaning I always give a transparency moment in regards to my life because I want to let you know that, yes, I'm a Christian, however, I am human first. The reason why Christians or Christianity gets downplayed so much is because we don't have examples, true real examples of a real Christian, meaning I fall, I crumble. As a Christian, people look at us and display us as to be, I guess, on this pedestal. We're not sinless. 
we're trying our best to sin less. We're still in the hands of Christ. And the thing is in regards to me, I do not agree with everybody's perspective or everybody's lifestyle or everybody's views about things. And that's okay. But we're in a world now that that is not okay. We have freedom of speech, but to a certain extent, to a certain fault. And that's the issue. So say for instance that I say, oh, I don't agree with your homosexual lifestyle. And it's like, oh, you're homophobic. You didn't allow me to explain. But you get that narrative and you run with it. And when you run with just a snippet of the story, the thing is, is that it gives a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth because what you are offending people. So my thing in regards to that is that me as the human being that I am first, I do not pass judgment on anyone. However, I will hold you accountable according to the word. According to the word. And the thing is, also according to the word, I do it with grace and with love. Anytime that I hold one of my brothers and sisters accountable, it's not that I do it to scorn or to shame them. It's that I'm doing it out of love and I want to see you grow and I want to see you change. However, all these examples of Christianity that we have out there aren't good examples. And so we need the people of Christ, the people of Jesus to stand up and say, no, we are here and we are real and we love you in spite of. And the thing is, is that the, the noise drowns out the light more times than often. We have great examples of Christians out there who aren't judgmental, who love you, who love you through, who loves the individual first and then their walk next. But we don't have good examples of that. We don't have examples of that period. And so it leaves a, Christianity leaves a bad taste in people's mouth because they don't really have any genuine, true examples of that. And I could tell, listen to D.L. Hewley, I think that he's either had some bad experiences with um, Christianity, with Christian people, um, you know, and I'm just here to say that we are out here, we are out here, and we are great individuals. Do not allow experiences that you've been in through the church, through a pastor, or through a Christian individual to leave a bad taste in your mouth because we're not all like that. Just like black people are not all the same, just not like white people are all the same, just like every officer that get, that pulls you over is not going to shoot you, okay? And that's the thing. We have this stigma about a lot of different things, especially Christians. You know, it's a, a very bad stigma about us, you know, and so that's why a lot of people don't want to stand up as Christians because we're getting bashed. Well, I'm here and I'm I'm here to say that I'm a proud, devoted woman of God in Christ. You call me brainwashed, whatever you call it, but my heart is pure and my heart is true. And if you get to know the person before the spirit then you're on to something. In regards to what D.L. Hughley was saying, you know, I get it. I totally get it. You know, you have Christians out there that are very judgmental. Um, you know, don't let people live. They want to say what they want to say. You know, they're not open to hear um, other people's belief. Well, I beg to differ. I'm, I'm strong and set in my, my spiritual belief and my faith. And it's not just religion, but my spiritual faith and my spiritual walk. I'm strong in that and I'm solid in that. I will not uh, sway. So I'm open to hear people's perspective. But the thing is, and I'm going to leave you with this. If I do not agree, is that okay? And that's what we get into with a lot of different things as far as views. And that's why I wanted today my channel reviews. If you notice, views is capital because it's just my view on things. But is it okay? Is it okay that I do not agree with you? In this world that we are in now, it's not okay and it's sad. It's sad. But I digress. This has been Reviews with Whitney D. Let me know what you think. In regards to D.L. Hugo showing what he had to say to Erica from Mary Mary, do you agree with him in regards to Christians and we're not allowing people to live their life and be who they are? Or do you agree with me when you say we really don't care? <laughs> We don't. It's gonna be easy living our own lives. Um, you know, let me know what you what you think in the comments below and we'll share a dialect. While you're there, please take out the time to subscribe if you have not. If you have, sharing is caring, please take out the time to share this video. And so you'll be to know when I know, ring that notification bell. I mean, click that notification bell. <laughs> you can ring my bell. Ring it lately, lately. I just wanna know that you have been around and I'm appreciative of that. Thank you. This has been Reviews with Whitney D. I'm Whitney D. signing off. Deuces.
digress. It's exciting.